Authory Lucy Foster, a trailblazer with a mission. Authory Lucy was born in 1929 in Shiloh, Alabama. She was born during a time where segregation was happening everywhere. Segregation was when people were judging others based on their skin color, race, culture, or religion. Back at that time, the black people couldn't sit on the same bus seats, go to the same restaurants, drink at the same water fountains, or even go to the same classrooms than whites. And this was very unfair. White people treated blacks like literal monsters. Nothing was fair for them. They were segregated from doing so many things just because of the way they looked when they were born. Because of all of this unfair segregation, it led to the civil rights movement. Black people started fighting for their rights. And so did Authorine. She made a big change on the education laws for black students all over the U.S. Authory was born in a big family where she was the youngest among five brothers and four sisters. Her parents, Melton Cornelius Lucy, and her mother, Minnie Mon Hosea, worked part-time jobs. It all started with what a bright student authoring was. Unfortunately, because she was black, she could never get proper education. The good schools were for the white kids only. But despite all of this, authoring still worked hard every day because she was a girl full of a big growth mindset and a lot of perseverance. She completed her high school from Linden Academy. She got admission into Miles College and studied there for a while. But after a few years, she formed a purpose. She wanted to go to an all-white school even if that meant hardships for her and her family. She wanted proper education. After months of research, she found a college that was perfect for her. It was the University of Alabama. She filled a form and asked the school to be in it, even if it was an all white school. The school had liked her reports and thought that they were very impressive. However, they hadn't seen how she looked yet. She was called with a meet for the dean. And the second the dean had seen her, he rejected her at the gate. At this, Authory was very disappointed. She had knew that she had probably had better reports than the other kids there. However, just because she was black, she couldn't get admission. She had already knew that segregation was wrong, but this took it too high. She had to do something, make a change to society, so she got an idea. At this time, Authorine had already knew about court and how it helped people solve their hardships. This gave her an idea. And with the help of her parents, she scheduled a time with the judge and the dean to meet in court so that she could get her point across. Miraculously, at this exact same time, young Thurgood Marshall, the future's first black Supreme Court justice, was being turned down for a job as a judge. He was also black and he was getting segregated in that way. When he heard about authoring, he wanted to help. He became her lawyer, and they fought their way through justice. In 1955, authoring won, and she got admission into the University of Alabama.
On all three's first day of college, let's just say it wasn't the best. So many students were angry that Authorine was there and started throwing eggs and rocks at her. But these barely made an impact on Authorine's big growth mindset and she just kept on walking. When Authorine reached her dorm, she learned that her roommate had left the entire building upon learning that Authorine was black. She also noticed that her teacher was gone and she had to get a substitute just because of her skin color. The dean had already realized that his school was falling apart. So he had a talk with Authorine and he expelled her. At the time, Authorine was still friends with Thurgood Marshall. He was worried about her and found a black school for Authorine to go to. She finished her bachelor's there and became a successful teacher. Even though Authorine had already became a teacher, she did not stop fighting for her rights. She still participated in boycotts and helped Thurgood Marshall become the first black justice of the Supreme Court. Authorine became a national sensation and started getting popularity where more people wanted to help her on her mission. Authorine became the first African-American student to attend the University of Alabama. Hence, the university recognized her by putting a board outside of the college stating her accomplishments and her courageous life so that her journey can inspire the future students of the college. Even after many years, she still continued her mission of promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion in the field of education. When I was learning about authoring, I came across this truly inspirational interview. Don't be bitter. Do like I'm going to do. If somebody has mistreated me, I'm going to roll over, forget about it. I'll perhaps remember it, but I'm not going to be bitter toward them. And I don't want them to be bitter toward me. I just pray that we as a people will learn to love each other. Wow, that was truly motivational. In Authorine's life, she had achieved so many awards. Unfortunately, on one day, March 2nd, 2022, Authoring Lucy had died of old age. However, the changes that she had made to society were so big and helped so many kids around the US. No matter how many hardships you went through, she kept on being loyal to herself her country, and most important, her rights. In summary, Authorine was a true hero. She changed the lives of so many students around the world, including mine. If it weren't for her, we would have segregated schools that would not be fair at all. Because of her act of bravery, we have amazing schools in our modern world. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time and you coming here to learn about this true hero, Author Lucy.